we all like go after consistency, whether it be with a steady paycheck, um, just consistency with the boyfriend, girlfriend, or just family matters itself. Um, from the quote, the only completely consistent people are the dead, actually. Um, I find that interesting just because uh, the it's true because they can't do anything with the dead already. So, <laughs> so um, the we all go after the consistent paycheck, such as like jobs, careers. Some might be just well off, like um, lower jobs, middle jobs, and higher jobs. And we all go after the higher jobs, which are more consistent. And you just want that consistent paycheck, and you want to stay consistent and have that money. Now. We all don't. We all can't stay consistent most of the time, just because sick, might be depressed, um, just might not be um, <laughs> at work and just like angry or whatnot, just from personal problems. And then um, moving on to like consistency with the boyfriend girlfriend thing. I mean, we all want that consistency of happiness and just being involved with each other and. It doesn't really happen like that. You're always going to have problems. You're always going to have issues with each other, whether it be little things with, such as with other people or just like little things like that, just like little things that bother you and that get to you. And that consistency is just like, it, ha it tends to be a problem sometimes. And um, with the, which is consistency, like we're not all machines. We're, we got to have, like we gotta have like some type of breaking point, just like a machine, and and that's more often than a machine. So I mean, the the only consistency like we have is just to stay healthy and not die. <laughs> just be well off, I guess. Thank you. No. Nope, that's yours. Mine? Yeah. Why do people keep trying to give me back the quotes? I don't understand. What do I want them for? We're done with them. Nobody else gets those quotes. Those are yours. The general statement in the, in the introduction is okay. The uh, topics also identified pretty clearly. I think uh, there's a little bit of humor there. You need a clearer statement of what your point is, whether you're agreeing, disagreeing, or going to go someplace else with the topic. There's not really a preview of what the content's going to be, although during the speech it sounds like you're implying there's an organizational structure. I don't know that anybody would be able to pick it out. Your examples are usually very abstract. It sounds a lot like you're sort of wandering around and thinking out loud on the topic, which is not automatically a bad thing, but the problem, like I said before, is I don't think that you had a direction that you were going, and so it really does sound a lot more like wandering as opposed to I'm coming to a conclusion and I'm just meandering there. It just seems like you're meandering. Uh, so you need a lot more focus on the, on the point that you're trying to make. The presentation issues, your voice projects well. I didn't notice any substantial problems in uh, understanding anything that you're saying. It seems fairly fluent. You didn't have a lot of hesitations, ums, ers, ahs, any of those sorts of things. There's some okay indicators. Actually, your facial expressions are pretty animated for the subject, and I thought that uh, that's one of the things that makes your presentation a little bit more engaging. Uh, there was a little finger knuckle cracking going on. That might have been where some of the anxiety was coming out. I think your summary could be structured a little bit more. All right. Thank you.